So look guys, if you go on your convex functions, now that the code has been pushed to convex, you can actually see all of the functions that we created locally on our computer, and they're all right here, ready to be used, and there's no server, okay? Except the front end server, obviously, but there's no back end server, so you can't be hacked at the server level. Let's jump into the video. Hey guys, welcome to this video where we're gonna be talking about convex and also just about SAS building and stacks. Now recently I've been putting more research into my stack for one simple reason, it's the big word, security, right? People seem to think that I'm a moron and I don't know or you know care about security. It's not actually true. I do care about security. I understand why sites need to be secure, but when I could barely even build a SaaS in the first place, how the hell was I supposed to think about security? More recently, however, I've been getting better and better at development, so I've had time to consider things like security. Now, right now, what I'm currently working on is either React or Next.js. I haven't decided. I think I might just go for React, but I'm just not sure about the SEO and stuff. It might just be easier to just do Next.js instead. And then basically convex for everything else. Now, if you don't know, convex is a very, very interesting system. It's one of the newest systems as far as I understand it. And I've started to get into the whole serverless thing. The reason being is obviously if I just have my front end and back end running on digital ocean server, all a hacker needs to do is either attack my front end or my back end, more likely my back end. Once they attack my back end, they're in to everything. There's nothing I can do and I'm completely screwed. So if you just remove this and just have the front end, right? And you use something like React or Next.js, which generally are considered to be fairly secure from my understanding. And then you use Convex for basically everything else, including serverless functions and database and live refresh of data. You can start to see why people use Convex. The only other thing that I should mention here is um, Astro is another thing that I'm looking at. So Astro for like the front end marketing website, React for, or probably React for the dashboard um, stuff, not the back end, but like the, what, what people would see as the back end, and then Convex for the actual functions. This is something else I'm looking at. So I just thought I'd mention that because, you know, there's a lot going on here and I don't want to overly confuse people, but the, I'm just telling you what I'm currently looking at. Just quickly, guys, before we continue, if you're curious about having a project built for yourselves for a much better price than most competitors and also much quicker, even if it's just a simple project or you just need a simple automation for your business, just come and talk to us today. There is a link in the description of this video. And yeah, basically, we have some spots left for 2025 and also the beginning of 2026 to build projects. It is actually me that will be doing the build unless it's like an enterprise level build, in which case we have two very high quality developers backing us up. It's not just me, okay? There's me and then we have two very, very good developers as well. So check out the link in the description if you are interested in having a project built by me and my team. Okay, so Convex itself is actually very, very simple to use. The problem is people use it in the incorrect way. It's actually the thing that I would compare it to in terms of setup is Next.js. You have to actually set the project up before you can do anything. You can't just jump in like Superbase and say, make me a locally running Superbase or anything like that. You actually have to run Convex. So let's do that now. Okay, so I'm just making a new folder, guys. MKD is make directory convex video, CD change directory convex video. Now we're just going to write npm install convex, which it should already be installed. I just have these commands here. Oh, God, so many things to alt tab to. I have these commands here that, you know, I just literally just said to ChatGPT, can you help me set up convex real quick? So now we do mpx convex dev, right? We run through this, so create a new project. We'll call this convex video. We'll do cloud deployment. And basically, if we now go to convex.dev and we log in, then we will see that we have a new project called Convex Video. This is one that I'm working on right now, Bobby. And then these are two when I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Um, so we now have this project running, right, which is connected to this project right here. Now, I'm not sure how this works. I don't know why this just stays. I don't know if you can control C here. So what I'll do is I'll just press tab here to open up a new one. 
and then write Claude. And I'll say you're inside a new convex um, project. Please make me a simple to do app that has AI integration using convex functions. And then I'm just going to grab some uh, open router stuff just because I just want to make it simple and easy. So what you do is you go to models. Uh, let's just use flash. So Gemini flash nano banana. Sure. Oh, there's got a new thing, quick start. I love it, dude. Look at that. Oh, I love that. However, this isn't actually enough. I am going to copy this. Um, give it a simple. Uh, actually, let's not do a simple to do app. Let's do a simple um, image editing app. A simple image editing app. The user uploads an image, describes what they want to change. Then um, the AI runs it, use open router, here's the docs. So I'm going to paste that and then I'm just going to go on Google and type open router image generation. Uh, and then go here, copy page, I pressed, there we go, copy page. <clears throat> and I'll say use convex functions uh, and store all their data, etc., in convex. And then what is the last thing we need? You need to give it an open router API key. You may also need to give it your convex API key, just so you're aware. Okay, so I won't bother giving it the um, the convex API key. I don't think it needs it because it should already be connected, basically. This is RuneScape, guys. Please don't ask. <laughs> Unless you want to ask. Uh, update on the group Iron Man, by the way, guys. I've been ridiculously AFK and crab. So uh, I've got 86, 86, 86. We did do another raid. If I do KC Cox like that, you can see kill count is now two. It did not go very well. I'm working on 78 Herb Lore doing um, Herb Runs so that we can do an actual raid without dying a few times. So you can see here, good. I can see this is a fresh convex project. Now let me create the complete image editing app. I'll update the to-do status. So the first thing it does is it sets an M variable inside convex this is one of the big advantages of convex if you don't know if you do like a normal serverless build where do you store your .m variables that's the question right but with convex it actually stores them here right inside the app this is basically the server as far as i understand it now i don't know what i don't know what the difference is between this being the server and it being serverless right maybe someone can Give me a helpful comment in the in, in, in the comments and just explain this stuff to me. But you can just see here, you can also very easily add some kind of data dog, century. So it just has everything. It has the data itself, right? You can see edit requests, bang, already. And then the functions, right? So generate, upload URL, save image, list image, get image. So you can just see how quick this progress actually is. This is fascinating to me, I have to say. Normally, this kind of shit would take, you know, half an hour to an hour to get to the point that we're already at, right? Now, I didn't actually tell it what to use. I, it looks like it's just using React. Uh, I'm not actually sure what it's using <laughs> because obviously I'm a complete noob. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> the time, by the way, 2041 we've been working on this for about three minutes i would i would say so not much at all um so we'll see just how quick this actually is in just a moment now it does say open ai i believe that open i think open router does use open ai's sdk but i'm not sure so we'll see in a minute how this goes yeah you can see here it's using react react dom uh obviously this isn't ideal um in terms of seo and stuff but I think from what I understand, uh, this is using Vite. So now I really don't understand what's going on. Is this using, is Vite the server? Ouch. I know that you guys are watching my video here, but you know, I am still learning. Like I said, I am still teaching. Uh, sorry, I'm still learning. It might seem weird to teach when you don't know, but that's what it is, you know, with AI these days. From my basic understanding of this, this should just be React. Um, I didn't know it was going to use Vite. It might, I might have to just say, is this front end only? I want to use uh, Convex as the front end. 
So I'll just double check here that this is what it's actually doing because this is the build that I'm trying to get here where it's basically front end only and then convex is the in brackets back end because I'm not sure if this is classed as a back end, but yeah, we'll see in a second. Okay, so he says this is what he was building anyway. I don't know why I say he. Uh, it's the AI has said React front end perfect. That is actually what it's building. Remember guys, we're only about eight minutes in, seven minutes in here. Um, just so you know, on, on the side here, I'm working on a project um, where I'm trying to make a generator where you can basically take uh, something, damn. You can take something from Google AI Studio and almost instantly turn it into a SaaS, right? That's what I'm trying to work on in the background here as well, just so that you guys know. Okay, now obviously it doesn't look good, okay? I'm not trying to claim that it looks good, but let's just see. So we should be able to, don't ask about this, I was making something for my old, uh, my old boss that would basically be an image editor. Okay, so that's uploaded, beautiful. Um, remove the background, generate AI edit, processing. So all of this stuff, is, the, the, the amazing thing about Convex is it should auto refresh and everything. That's the really, really cool thing here. So let's just give this a moment, fail to process edit, no problem. Buffer is not defined, no problem. We can just very quickly and easily just say. And then, yeah, there we go, bang, look at that. Damn, that's really cool. And then watch this, this is the really, really cool thing. Remember, we're only eight minutes into this. When I refresh your images, you can see that the database is working. If we go to uh, Convex here, we can go to data. You can see all of the requests. Oh, man, this is really, really cool, honestly. This is like, to, to me, this is next level because it's, it, it, it's just everything. It has everything. It has the data, it has the functions. It's, it's really, really easy to use. Um, it can read itself, right? So you could set it up where um, you could get Claude Code to actually read the output from here to see what the problem is, right? I love this. Honestly, I fucking love this setup. I'm going to leave the video there for now, guys. This is super interesting. I would say this is the best web dev setup as of right now. As I said, I'm not fully convinced whether to use Next.js or React. If you know, please leave me a comment and tell me what to use. Uh, shout out to Kenrick for, for that. Please help me. And yeah, I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.